So to see clearly what's going on here, let's uh, put back our alert uh, here on handle result. So I'm going to put alert result right there so that we see what we're actually receiving. So let me uh, refresh the page. Okay, alert and alert. Okay, so now let me click here, boom. So I'm getting a message, your data was saved, which uh, assumes uh, everything went well. But if you look closely, data type is info. So I think that's where we have a problem right there. Hmm. Okay, so the data type is changed. So let me uh, just remove this. So that's what's happening here. That means uh, it's not hitting any of these. That's why we're not getting to this point. So to solve this problem, let me go to save settings here. And of course the data type is being set right here. So what I will do is simply change that to save settings, right? Like so. And data type error also exists, which uh, if we don't take care of it, we will not know if we have an error. So let me come back to index.php here. Let me see, is it provided for? No, it is not. So what I will do is put one more here at the bottom. So I'm going to duplicate this part and case is going to be info. But wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm simply going to repeat this right here. So maybe not a good idea. Okay, let me remove that. So what I will do instead is simply change from error to info. From error, sorry, to save settings. Paste, paste. So that regardless whether there's an error or not, uh, the information will still reach here. So we can still see the message. Okay, I hope that has sorted the problem out. So let me try again. Aha, uh -huh. so your data was saved. Okay, great. So let's see if the data will actually change. Sign up. Please enter a valid username. Hmm. Okay, so we have... Um, we have... Uh, what is this? A regular expression that eliminates numbers. Uh, for the username so that somebody cannot put numbers. All right, so what we will do is I'm going to just put some other text here and hit save. Your data was saved. And then you see it change immediately there, which is awesome. Like that, sign up and it changes back. Great, so let's try and change this guy to a female and see what happens. So sign up. Oops. So there we have a problem. Hmm. But let me refresh the page and see. So it didn't change to female from male. Hmm. Alrighty then. I think I know what the problem is. It's because in saving. Oh, we actually included gender. So let me come back here at the top. Gender is equal to gender or no. Please select a gender. So whatever the problem is, not male, not female. Hmm, okay, let me go back to the uh, database and simply check in the database to see what was written to. So it's male. Let me come back here and put it on female. Why isn't this changing? Oh, I see what's happening here. This is my bad. Okay, so if I go to settings.php, the one in includes, I think I gave these two guys different names. As you can see here, there's gender male and gender female. So by design, if you give these two things uh, different names, it means they no longer correspond to each other. They can both be selected like that, which is a big problem right here. Okay, so unfortunately, I have to remove this part and figure something else out. So I'm going to remove gender. This is in settings.php and includes. So the name should be the same. It should just be gender. So let me do this. 
once I change this, if I refresh the page, go to settings, you will notice now that uh, only one of them is selected at a time. And this is what we want. Okay. So gender. So let me go down here now. Okay, that's it for the settings of PHP. Now I'll go to index.php and change how the function responds here. So here it's looking for gender male or gender female. So I think it will still work with one of these only. So let me cancel that and remove that like this. Like so. Because what will happen is that as it is moving along through this loop, Okay, it's going to find one thing named gender, and then it's going to check if that thing is checked, it's still going to assign gender to that checked part. But then if it runs again the second time, it will find another one named gender, because there are two now, the male and the female. And then if that one is checked, it will assign that. So I think it will still work just like this. So without further ado, let me give it a spin. So let me put female over here and hit save settings. Great. So immediately you see the this thing changes here to female, but this doesn't. So I think we should also reload the data here, right? And to reload the data here is, um, how did we load the data here? Let me go to settings. What function did we run? Uh, get chats, get settings. So this is the function we need to run. Get settings right there. Copy that. So I'm going to go up here. Immediately after I get the user info, we're going to get the settings again as well. So since we don't have this E, uh, get settings, and we don't really need it, we can simply replace it with a Boolean, like true or false. So I'm just going to say true. Or do we have an E? No, we don't have an E here. So let's just put true there. So what we're simply doing is that we'll show the user a message that everything went well, and then we're going to refresh the user info, and then we're going to refresh the settings info as well. All right, so let's try that again. So let me hit settings here. Now you see that female there, but I want to change to male. So I'm going to say save settings. Your data was saved and it changes on both ends. And if I, I could change the name to uh, Jane, put female there and hit save. Great. So let me change it back to the original name and put male and save. And there we go. All right, so the settings are working very, very well. The only thing we have to do next is to change, to be able to change this image so we can add an actual image of the user right here. So I'll see you in the next video.